Well team, how's it going? Ben here again uh, from Process Coffee in Belfast. Back for another wee season with you guys. Um, firstly, thanks so much uh, for all the positivity, all the comments on last season's coffee. Uh, thanks for voting it your favorite. Uh, and thanks to Leaderboard for, for setting us up again so that um, I can come back and showcase another, another coffee with you guys. No pressure. No pressure. Um, this season I've been able to select another coffee uh, and I had actually just selected this coffee um, as kind of a special Christmas release. Um, nothing to do with Christmas but just a really special coffee that I wanted to showcase over the Christmas period. Um, and it's another Colombia um, and it's a Geisha coffee. So this coffee uh, is by um, produced by a producer called Jorge Rojas, um, and he's uh, up in the Tolima region, which is just north of where um, where Yeni and, uh, and 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 that coffee was produced. So still in that kind of central west uh, province of Colombia, um, uh, and this coffee uh, just really stood out to me. Um, really special, and Jorge's story as well is another another special story. And I feel that those um, those stories just Kind of come in tandem with with the coffees that we're getting the experience together as as coffee drinkers and um, jorge uh when he was 12 and due to a loss in the family had to step in and start to um, help with with running the farm from around 12 years old and then that was about 20 years ago now to where he's kind of taken um the reins of the farm and has introduced varietals like geisha and pink ribbon to it so he's around the same age as me um and at his journey um, and his kind of legacy of, of keeping this family farm alive um, is something really amazing. And then to then experience a really uh, amazing coffee like, like this Geisha uh, off the back of that, uh, it just feels really special. So, so it's a Columbia Geisha. Um, in case you're wondering, no, I haven't spray painted the wall in my office. I'm actually at my local skate park because one, I never get the chance to go skate anymore. And two, these videos take about 75 attempts to get right. So I decided to come and keep it interesting and go for a skate every time I get uh, get one wrong um, or say something silly. Um, but we'll go over and we're gonna brew, um, brew the coffee here just while I talk you through um, kind of what I was getting in it. So bear with me here. So here we have it. The Jorge Rojas Geisha. Um, yeah, in the cup, I'm getting Granny Smith apple acidity. Um, it's a really nice acidity. Um, and I definitely get like a honey, uh, honey mouthfeel and a honey finish on it. Um, it hangs around a lot more than uh, that some of the geishas that I've experienced in the past. Let's jump in the deep end here. So I was looking for Granny Smith apple acidity. I was looking for that honey um, sweetness, that honey mouthfeel. I was looking for um, florals um, in that geisha. Um, but what I kind of got was more like, um, like fresh cut flowers, that, that kind of aroma. Um, and that maybe kind of initial um, floral hit, but definitely then kind of wrapped up into a much nicer um, apple acidity um, and a honey mouth feel, which I really loved. Really couldn't get enough of this coffee, and it was uh, I was kind of sad to see it, see it go so quick, but um, but also hyped that so many of you guys and people um, who who bought the coffee um, on the process box set over Christmas got to experience it. Um, I mean, hopefully not the last uh, we'll see of uh, Jorge um, on the process uh, coffee rotations. So thanks again um, to you guys and to Leaderboard for having me on. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the coffees um, and I hope that it's not too long before I'm, I'm back 
to, uh, to share another coffee with you guys. But until then, I'm gonna go skate and, uh, and then get back to, back to work. Oh, one last shout out as well, um, cause I didn't mention last time. Uh, big shout out to Wild Heart Coffee Roasters um, because they are the guys who let me come up and roast my coffee on their machine. Um, and also I think I need to mention what machine I'm roasting on. So it's a Geeson, uh, Geeson 6. And uh, yeah, so big shout out to those guys. Um, and they've helped so much with just guiding me um, in, uh, in jumping into the roasting game uh, and just giving me the opportunity to to roast these incredible coffees for you guys. Um, so yeah, have a good one wherever you are. Hope you're drinking coffee. Hope you're staying stoked. Uh, hope you're drinking in the daily of every day. Um, and yeah, till next time team.